Hello, it's Ahmed from Effective Design. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about design, everything from web design to animation to visual design and even web development. And this video is going to be about a micro interaction that I've posted on social media. And I've got quite some positive feedback and there's a lot who want to know how this is done on Webflow. So this is going to be the video on how we can achieve something like this on Webflow. I've also posted it on Reddit and people are very friendly on there but anyways enough talking let's jump right in all right so we're here inside of webflow and i'll just take you through the whole setup uh, for the for the button um, and what we have here is is initially the the container which is a link block uh, for the button uh, and that has three different elements. So it has the arrow element, which is the arrow element, <laughs> and then it has the button, um, and then it has something called the arrow background, which is the yellow circle. And to show you what I mean, if we go here into the color and decrease the opacity here, you could see that um, there is the circle, the yellow circle. So that's in the in sort of the background. And how we achieve that is by giving the button container that contains all of our three elements uh, uh, a position of relative and giving both the arrow and the arrow background a position of uh, absolute. Um, and then with the position of absolute, we have uh, we give it an, a Z index of negative one, and then that just means that the that the circle, the yellow circle, is is towards uh, is under both the button and the arrow, and then the arrow is on top. Um, so that's how we sort of position everything and overlay uh, the elements one on top of the other. Uh, and I have the the arrow background set to 0% top and bottom and 0%. Um, now, there's another important thing. I have the button container, the whole container. Um, have I, I have that uh, having the, the cursor pointer to to uh, show that it's it's a clickable link. But I also uh, have the effect button and not the effect button container to have the background color you can obviously change that um, but i have it set and this is where this is the interesting bit um, you can see the padding here is is coming from a variable and the reason why i have the the padding as as variables here is that because we can then use these variables to animate them using interactions we can't really animate padding I don't think so using using interactions but we can animate values from variables and that's why i have if, um, the effect padding left here 32 pixels which is right here and then the 56 padding right just to make an extra space so that the button can uh, so that the arrow can sort of uh, just an extra space for the for the arrow basically um yeah and also uh, I have a 2D transform to the arrow uh, to be moved a negative 24 pixels uh, and also a negative 50 to sort of center it um, uh, in the middle of the button uh, and that's that's vertically and horizontally if it's at if it's at zero uh, then it's it's right here it's towards the the end of of the button because I have it set to an absolute position of 0% to the right and 50% to the top. And that's why here I have it set at a negative 20 pixels just so that there's a, there's equal spacing to the left and right of, uh, of the button arrow. Um, and this negative 50 is really important as well because if we don't have that, then the top of the arrow is at the middle of the button. Uh, but that what that does if I have minus 50% then it just centers it so now um, we have this state now we need to, to do the animation and for that what I did was I set hover animation 
for the effect button container. So if we go into interactions and then we go into mouse hover, um, I've set an initial position um, uh, or for for the arrow to be negative 24, negative 50 pixel, negative 50 percent, and that's sort of the uh, the original position for the arrow. And then the next would be manipulating the the padding left to be 24, um, and then the padding right to be 24 as well. And that centers the word effect into the middle of the button. And then what we do is we move, you remember the yellow, uh, yellow circle, we move it by 47 pixels. So it's right against the edge of the button here. And then we also move the arrow, but also not move it, just move it, but rotate it as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, I also gave everything, all of these, uh, of these actions, a 0 0.3 duration. And I gave it an easing of in and out, um, and out uh, circular or circ. Um, it's just, it just feels very snappy and nice. And I just duplicated this for the hover out and just brought back the variables to their original position, to their original numbers. And but the the yellow circle back to zero and then the move back to negative 24 negative 50 percent and then rotate back to zero and that's it so now we have this really nice hover um uh, interaction that's super cool um we could we could repeat this for uh, and 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 have variables for the for the tablet uh, breakpoint and the mobile break breakpoint but what i found or what i usually do is this is sort of a lazy hack but it works i just for something that's um that requires a lot of like these interactions and they just look super cool and i don't want to do them for all of these breakpoints i just literally decrease the, sc the scale of them and use them for these different breakpoints so they would work on on all without having to worry about anything really so i just have the button container here to be a scale of 0 0.8 and on the mobile to be a scale of 0 0.7 you can feel free to sort of repeat the, these steps for um, and have like specific different interactions for different breakpoints um, but I think this works for now. So I hope uh, this was informative. I have uh, the clonable on my premium Discord channel. Um, you could you could visit effect uh, dot design um, and and go into the community uh, section and just claim premium access for now is free i'm not sure if you're gonna if, whenever you're watching this video if it's not going to be free or or not but basically you'll have access to the discord um channel and from there you could just basically have access to uh, to the hover effect and to the clonable uh, link and we are done if you think that this video was helpful please leave a subscribe or a like or a comment what you need in the future we could do something like this for framer if that would be interesting we could even do it on react using framer motion or css or html so yeah one more thing um i have a, a running effect.community uh you could head to my website and join the community to get the premium status um, it's not for long that you can get it for free so if if it's free right now you can check it out just grab it get the premium status you'll have access to everything including um, the source code including the actually you can copy paste these elements from my flow into your site for free uh, but yeah so i'll see you on the next one thank you